God bless and thanks for tuning to Piercing Darkness. This is Apostle Sally. I want to thank God for this day he has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. You and your family and the, all our partners and friends out there that are watching this show. I want to introduce you to a very powerful message that I preached recently. The unstoppable power of God. But before I go into the message, I want to encourage you to partner with this ministry. Your support is appreciated when you buy our products or when you sow a seed to support us in bringing this program in this area and different other regions for the glory of God. It means a lot. Your donation of any amount will be a blessing, such a blessing to the kingdom of God. Because this gospel must be preached as a witness. Then the end shall come. And the sign that the Lord is about to come back is where the gospel is preached all over the world. With what's happening in America and around the world, terrorists, the riots in Ferguson, in New York, people have a lot of anger. It's something just going to spark it to manifest. Jesus is the answer to the world. Jesus is the answer to people's problems. We must lift him up and people can be saved and delivered. So think about it and pray about it. If you haven't become a partner yet, you can become a partner today. And simply go to our website and sign up. Or you can call our ministry line to order our products or to get more information about partnership. If you have a prayer request, we'd like to pray for you. You can write to us or you can also email us or watch some of our services live on our website. I'm excited about what God is doing. The miracles, the power of God. It's not a work of a man, but a work of the Holy Spirit. We're going to see testimonies of God opening blind eyes, creative miracles, and other unusual manifestations of the Holy Spirit. Enjoy. Stay tuned. Jesus is Lord. I'll be back. God has set before you life and death and it says choose what? Life. The choice is yours. Learn to make wise decisions. Amen. He says arise shine for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. God has singled you out personally. 
and he has spoken to you and said arise and shine he didn't tell you to arise and go to sleep you don't turn a light on and put it under the chair or under the table Christians are trying to hide get out of the box step out of the hiding whatever you're hiding and shine the light can I hear men do that he says arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee for behold darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but the Lord shall rise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee lift up your hands the Lord I confess my sin wash me with your blood from sins in my thoughts things that I've did accidentally intentionally iniquities in my bloodline all evil thoughts in my mind remove them cleanse me with your blood in the name of Jesus I'm ready to receive my miracle in Jesus name amen now he says darkness shall cover the earth it behold darkness shall cover the earth that's a spoken word God has prophesied how he has given us an idea of what's happening so everything you see happening in the world is not good God warned us about it Ebola is a lot of scared of Ebola the virus is extremely more dangerous than the terrorists in Syria and Iraq let me be clear honest with you at least with those terrorists they can locate them through GPS technology if they talk with a cell phone or communicate they can track them down they can send you know spies to look like them but Ebola is extremely more dangerous because it cannot be detected so most usually what they do is they have sensors they try to use to censor where it is but the, the thing is that they only trace it or catch it after it is striked so they're trying to quarantine people now 800 people were on a flight that they suspect was if was a, a nurse travel flew on that had the infected virus infected with the virus was on this flight and they, they were able to you know to spot the, which airline it is and she went on a cruise and she's on a cruise and they're able to see which cruise she's on but they don't know how to stop it so they don't to contact all the 800 passengers on that flight including the crews see how fear has stricken the mighty you see what you mean by that with all the technology and the CDC high level paying job the best doctors best of the best this started with a man one man traveling from Africa and going to Texas and he got there into a hospital and they could not even detect that it was Ebola. They sent him home. He got worse. He came back. All those people that were exposed to him risk of having the virus. So there's fear on the land. But I've come to announce this that if you have Jesus, you have no reason to be afraid. <laughs> Somebody say, I don't serve men. But I serve God. You see what do you mean by that? The Bible says the Lord that watches over thee does not sleep or slumber. Why should God go to sleep because of a virus called Ebola? Now. Darkness shall cover the earth. Darkness represents the kingdom of hell. The kingdom of Satan and its evil intentions. The Bible said the thief cometh not but for to steal, kill, and destroy he's after your peace your joy your finances your marriage he's after not only that he wants to take your health he wants to take your hair he wants to take your nails he wants to take everything from you darkness represents the kingdom of satan's agenda includes wickedness evil homosexuality mass murder epidemics but God goes on to say and gross darkness the people 
if the room is too cold, we can. Thank you so much. Brother Barry, can you help me out? Talk to the manager to warm it up, please. God bless you. Because the Holy Ghost told me it's too cold for them. I love the Holy Ghost. Listen to this. Gross darkness, the people, but the Lord shall rise upon thee. He already told us that people are going to be very, very influenced with darkness. A man got into an argument with his wife, shot his two kids and himself. That is bad. That's darkness. That's what? Darkness. There are more other viruses that are more dangerous than Ebola, but they have not been spotted. There are different activities that happen in the world today that are scary. The world is getting more crazy every day. You turn on the news, something is happening. Something is happening somewhere. If it's not in America, it's in Canada. If it's not in Canada, it's in London. If it's not in London, it's in Kuwait, somewhere, in Jamaica, Africa, Haiti, anywhere. Crazy things happening in this world. But I got some news for you. Great things happening also. It's just that CNN doesn't know where they are. Something is happening in Port St. Lucie. They don't know about it. How many of you know that your miracle is right here? And right now. How many of you want your miracle right now? Someone say hallelujah. The Bible say that the Lord shall rise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon on thee. How many of you want to, want to see the glory of God upon thee? How does the glory of God come? How does the glory of God come? How does it manifest? How is it released? It's released when there is an atmosphere that is set for him to move. The glory of God is released when there is an atmosphere that is set for him what? To move. God will not force himself in any place. We have to invite him. If we don't invite him, he will not come. He's a gentle person. He's a gentleman. He won't force his way. We have to invite him. You receive your miracle. You receive your blessing when the Holy Spirit is present. Where the Spirit Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty when the liberty of the Holy Spirit is released manifestations begin to take place the incredible things begin to happen God begins to heal God begins to deliver God begins to set the captives free because there is an atmosphere we started worship here and we worshiped for an hour most churches today worship is 15 minutes 25 minutes. They're in a hurry. You can't come to God's presence when the clock is managing you. Yes. You know, there was a wise man called Joshua. Whenever he went with Moses to meet the Lord, God spoke to Moses face to face. He never spoke to Joshua. But Joshua stayed there and said, I'm going to hang it right here because it feels good to be around the presence of God. You can't. When you come to God, everything else has to be put on the side, including your problem. When an atmosphere is set for God to move, then the impossible become what? Possible. For nothing is impossible with the Lord. We have seen the Lord do incredible miracles in our crusades. Like removing cancer, removing HIV, removing diabetes. I'm talking about creative miracles. I'm talking about what? Creative miracles. God doing creative miracles. Unusual things happening like body parts being inserted back on people that were removed by doctors. I'm talking about hair growing. I'm talking about people losing weight. I'm talking about blind eyes opening. I'm talking about deaf ears being stopped. I'm talking about the cripple walking. Somebody say amen. We have to understand that once the atmosphere is set, nothing is impossible with the Lord. How is the atmosphere set? The Bible says where two or three are gathered in my name, 
I the Lord shall be in the midst. When we gather to seek God for his name is the reason why we gathered. Because nothing just happens. There is a reason behind everything that happens. When people of God gather together and begin to press in, they set an atmosphere. Each one of you came with an atmosphere. Apostle Ronald Sali is offering a destiny offer. Five dynamic teachings, messages, and his worship CD pressing in in his book, The Secret Place. This will inspire you to walk deeper in the things of God. It will lead to a great breakthrough for you and your family. This is a limited time offer for a love donation of $50 or more to the ministry. We'll send you the Secret Place book, Pressing in Worship CD, the teaching Destroying the Giants in the Promised Land, the teaching Moving in God's Timing, the teaching Operating in the Supernatural, the teaching Divine Acceleration, the teaching Defeating the Invisible Enemy, all for a love donation of $50 or more to the ministry. This is a limited time offer. For more information on how to get this offer, call us at 561-337-9259. 561-337-9259. Or go to our website, powerevangelism.net. Or write to us at Power Evangelism, PO Box 48927, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 55448. Don't miss your destiny offer. You don't have enough food. It's a give me what you got. He gave thanks to his father and it multiplied. You know, there is a famous actor. He released a movie called Think Like a Man. I just think when you think like a man, you're going to be broke anyway because most men are broke. But if you think like Jesus, you're going to function in dominion. You missed a place to clap to Jesus. It's time for you to stop thinking like a man and begin to think like Christ. Let's give the Lord a better clap offering. Yeah. And the gentle shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising. It's time for you to shine. Me and you are believers. We must shine Christ. Our language must change. Be anxious for nothing but make your requests known to God. Do not be afraid of Ebola. Do not be afraid of anything out there that comes on the news. It's time for you to walk in faith. Believe God to protect you. Believe God to take care of you. Believe God to cancel all your problems. Somebody say hallelujah. God says there's nothing too difficult for him. Amen. If he created you and put you on earth, he gave you enough angels to protect you. There is angelic activity around you. You just don't see it with your eyes. When we trust God, we will see him fight for us and deliver us. What does the glory do? It activates heavenly atmosphere. Now, Jesus was teaching his disciples to pray. He said, our father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There is no way God's will will be done unless his kingdom come. And there's no way his kingdom can come unless he's glorified. Hallowed be thy name. Right where he is seated, we honor him in adoration and we set the atmosphere. Then his kingdom come, then his will is done. Once his will is done, things begin to happen. We were in Miami a few weeks ago, and a woman had surgery on her uterus. Things got worse. She came to our service. It was hanging out. Every time she would use a bathroom, use a bathroom it would hang out. And she never told anybody about it, but God knew. So God told me by word of knowledge that somebody has a uterus problem. He wants to heal him. So I called her, she came forward. The Lord fixed her and put the uterus where it belongs to the original place. So when she went to use the bathroom, it was not hanging out after prayer. It was back where it's supposed to be. That's a creative miracle. Someone say hallelujah. We witnessed that miracle in front of our eyes. 
Two weeks ago, I think this was two, three weeks. Yeah, this was two, three weeks ago. We were in West Palm Beach at the convention center. A woman came to the service with lupus, and she has she had you know an oxygen tank and tubes, breathing tubes and oxygen tank and stuff. And she came to the service. The glory of God came and hit her right there on the altar in front of us, and it was fixing her. God was fixing it. Stuff began to come out of her. Stuff began to come out of her. Stuff began to come out of her. And as they came out of her, right there, she pulled off the tubes, threw down the oxygen tank. I don't need this no more. Somebody say hallelujah. God took lupus out of this woman in front of her eyes. Listen to this. No more lupus for that lady. Yes. And she came last week to worship with us on a Wednesday. You could even recognize her because she looks way better. No oxygen tank, no tubes, no lupus. That's the God I'm talking about. He says in his word, his glory shall be seen. It shall rise up. It will right there. Right there. You got to have it on you. The gentle shall come to thy light and the kings to the brightness of thy rising. He says, gross darkness shall cover the people but the Lord shall rise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee when his glory is seen upon thee miracles will manifest miracles happen when the glory of God is present deliverances take place when the glory of God is present people don't understand how to receive miracles when they come they just focus on the natural your problem has a name the name of Jesus is above your problem Cancer has a name. Jesus' name is above cancer. HIV has a name. Jesus' name is above HIV. How do we shift the atmosphere? We have to identify that the enemy, darkness operates in manipulation, intimidation, and also it operates in fear. So the enemy pushes the agenda of fear and intimidation. But God wants to glorify himself through surrender. So when we surrender to God, miracles begin to happen. Before I begin to pray for the sick tonight. Because I've, I believe God's going to heal a lot. Say, yes, Lord, do it. Yes, Lord, do it. Why is it that people today preach and say God doesn't do miracles anymore? Why is it that Christians doubt God? Because there is a demon that is called unbelief. The demon called unbelief has baptized some Christians to become the non-believing believers. So they carry the name of believers but they don't believe. Well, they'll say some things like this. I know God does miracles. Don't get me wrong. But you see, not nowadays. Well, what happened? Did he have a, a seizure? What happened to the guy that spoke to the Red Sea and it opened through his servant Moses? What happened to the God that said, let it be light and light was? What happened to the God that was able to silence the mouth of the lion when Daniel was thrown the lion's den? What happened to that God? Did he go to a vacation in Hawaii? Oh, did he retire and is in a nursing home? Oh, was he exported to another planet? Or was he deported somewhere? No, he is here right now. And he's the same yesterday. And he's the same today. And he's the same forever. Can I hear an amen to that? If he can silence the mouth of the lion, he can silence the mouth of Ebola. He can silence the mouth of dead he can silence the mouth of your cancer. Can I hear amen to that? God has not stopped doing miracles. It's just that believers have lost their focus. Everybody pray. Another leg is growing here. Everybody pray. 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 Come. 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 Keep coming. Keep coming. 
keep coming keep coming keep coming keep coming keep coming there it goes it's growing it's growing it's growing it's growing keep coming keep coming come 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 look at that 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 this one was oh my god look at that it's action holy ghost action holy ghost holy ghost action Si c'est pour ouais 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 Start sing now C'est pour commencer ouais Konya Look at me now. See me. When? See me. When? See me. When? Look at me now. Look. 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 Begin to see. Begin to see. Begin to see. Begin to see. She see me, yeah. God open the eye. Open the eye. Get up and dance for the Lord. Come and sleep. You dance for the Lord. She see me blue pants. Blue pants. I'm out of time, but before we go, I want to make an invitation to you. If you want to receive Christ in your heart, say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and save me. Remove my name from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. I accept in my heart as my Lord and Savior, and I am born again. If you made a commitment to Christ, you're born again. Stay in Christ and don't backslide. Jesus is the Savior. We'll be back next week at the same time to bring you the more exciting programming. But don't miss our Christmas revival. It's going to be in West Palm Beach at the New Life Sanctuary. That's going to be the 24th, the 25th and 26th at 8 p.m. It's going to be a great time. We're going to also baptize on the 24th. The information is on your screen. Call for more information. I'll see you tonight in Derby Beach. Come expecting a miracle. Jesus is Lord. Yeah.